Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. We're just having a game of hide and seek. It's Small's turn to hide. Will you help me find him? Now, where is he? Oh, I can't see him anywhere. Can you? What? Is he over here? What? Over here? All right. Shh. <laughs> here? Found you! Oh, <laughs> well done, Ben! <laughs> <laughs> well, I did have a little bit of help, Small. Oh, hello! <laughs> Are you playing too? OK, it's my turn to hide now. Close your eyes, Small. No peeping. You close your eyes too. OK, OK. Right. We cover our eyes and count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five! Coming, ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> Found you. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. You've got lots of places to hide, Small, but me, I'm just too big. <laughs> oh, you always find me. <laughs> we'll have to play this game later, Ben. We've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who is it, little cook? Who is it? Wow! It's Edna the Explorer! Wow! Edna the Explorer! Ho -ho! An explorer is someone who travels the world to see what faraway places look like. Yes! And explorers learn about all the animals and plants that live in those places. They certainly do, Ben. But what would an explorer like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. This story is called Animal Hide and Seek. It's about Edna the Explorer who went to Africa to see all the wonderful animals that live there. Edna had her camera ready to take photographs, but she didn't see any animals. Not a single one. They had all disappeared. When I met Edna, I told her that the animals hadn't really disappeared. It was just that they were very good at hiding. Get out of your truck and wait quietly, I said. They'll soon come out of their hiding places. And sure enough, from a group of trees, two zebras appeared. Edna was so excited, she leapt up and started taking photographs. The zebras jumped up in fright, ran back to the trees and disappeared again. You see, the animals are hiding from you in places where the leaves and flowers are the same colour as they are, I explained. It's called camouflage, and animals are very good at it. But they won't come out if they can see you. You need some camouflage too. So I helped Edna to camouflage herself. Edna rolled in the dust to make her new explorer's jacket a dark, earthy colour. And I stuck leaves all over her bright new hat. Then we lay in the grass and waited quietly. Before long, out came the zebras. Then a leopard. <coughs> then a beautiful parrot with brilliant blue and red feathers. Edna was so well camouflaged she was able to watch all the wonderful animals without them knowing she was there. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ho oh, ho, and that was a very clever idea you had to camouflage the explorer like the animals. Way! Woohoo! Thanks, Ben. Now we need a clever idea for the explorer's lunch. Hmm. Now, what do explorers like to eat? <laughs> Oh. I 
know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. <coughs> oh, yes, look. The very thing for an explorer's lunch. Tiger sushi. What's sushi, Ben? Well, it's, um, it's got rice in it and that's all I know, really. Tiger sushi. Oh, yes, I can see the rice. And those colours do look like a tiger, don't they? Yeah. An orange and black tiger hiding in the grass. Oh. <laughs> Just like the animals in your story, Small. Come on, then. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need carrots. OK. Over to the fridge. Here we go. In here. Carrots. Yes. Got those, Small. Cucumber. Cucumber. Lovely and green. Cucumber. Got it. Raisins. Raisins over here in the cupboard. Here we go. Raisins. Got the raisins. And rice. Rice. All white. Got the rice as well. There we are. Everything we need for tiger sushi. Sushi. I like that word. I wish I knew more about how it's made. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! <laughs> go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Well, hey, I'm in the right place here. This man is Japanese and he's making a Japanese food called sushi. Sushi is made with lots of rice. And that looks like fish. It's salmon and it's being laid on the rice. That's cucumber. Salmon and cucumber go very well together. Hmm, what's happening now? Aren't they pretty? They're called sushi rolls. Oh, he's going to make another one now. First of all, you spread out the rice. This time, he's going to use some slices of avocado pear. And to top it off, sprinkle on some sesame seeds. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle! And this is the fun bit. Time to roll it up. Onto the plate, ready to eat. Oh, that means thank you in Japanese. Oh, look. They're not using a knife and fork to eat with. They're using chopsticks. See you later. Way! Ben, I'm back. Ben? Where are you, Ben? Do you think he's hiding again? Shall we try to find him? OK. <laughs> Found you! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I still can't find a good hiding place. <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. It's cooking time. I found out everything you need to know about sushi. It was so interesting. Sounds great. Well, all the ingredients are ready. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. 
Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Tiger Sushi? You do. There were carrots. Two. Peeled. Cucumber. One thick slice. Raisins. Half a cup. Rice. Half a cup. And a food ring. One. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK, then. First things first. The first thing I'm going to do is boil the rice. So, put the rice into a saucepan and pour in just enough water to cover the rice. There we are. Put the lid on and turn on the heat. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. Simmer the rice on a low heat for 15 minutes. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. The rice is cooked now, so I'm just going to leave it here to cool, which gives us time to grate the carrots. And Small, could you sort out the raisins? Okie dokie! Now we need to grate the carrots really finely into little thin strips, like this. Now this could take quite a long time. And if you're doing the grating, be very careful of your fingers. How are you getting on, Small? Small? Mm. Oh! <laughs> I was just testing the raisin, Ben, to make sure it was raisiny enough. <laughs> and is it? Yes, it is, Ben. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> right, OK, then. The rice has cooled down now, so we can start to put the ingredients together. So take the food ring and put it onto a plate. What happens next, Small? Take some rice and put it in the food ring until the bottom is covered. Use a spoon to press it down tightly. OK, then. Put some rice in. There we are. Then put a thin layer of grated carrots on top of the rice and press that down too. Grated carrot on top. Do the same with some of the raisins. There you go. Thanks, Small. Just enough to cover the carrot. And I'll put a few more on. And press them down. Nearly done. Just press them down. OK. Now some more carrot. On it goes. A little more. OK, Small. And some more rice. The rice has to be at the top at the end. I can't wait to see the tiger sushi roar. Roar! <laughs> There. Finished. Now carefully lift the food ring and push the tower of food down onto the plate. Carefully. Carefully. Woohoo! Oh, look at that! That's brilliant, Ben! Now for the grass that goes around the tiger. <laughs> OK, then. Now, I've cut the cucumber into four pieces. I've scooped out the middle, and then I've used a pair of scissors to cut out the skin and make it look like blades of grass. 
So, I'm just going to finish off the last one now. Scoop out the middle. Careful. There we are. And then use the pair of scissors to make it look like a blade of grass. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we go. And then pop them on the plate just around the tiger sushi. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks like there's a little tiger peeping through the long grass. And I'll finish off with a little pot of soy sauce. I think Edna the Explorer will love it. Here we go. One tiger sushi coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Ho oh, ho! That was quick. Edna the Explorer must have been very hungry. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, my tiger sushi was scrummy. Woohoo! I'm off to India now, a country far, far away, to see some real tigers. To say thank you, here's a little present. A camouflaged hat, which I think Ben will find very useful in his game of hide-and-seek. Brilliant! Whoa! Well, go on, Ben. Go and hide. OK! <laughs> Woohoo! OK, then. Cover our eyes and count to five. One, two, three, four, five! Coming! Ready or not! Woohoo! Where is he? I can't find him anywhere. Can you see him? OK, Ben, I give up. Where are you? Here I am! Oh. <laughs> you couldn't see me, could you? <laughs> My hat looked just like the plant. See? Camouflage really does work. Hey! hey. See you see soon! You soon. <laughs> Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. 